just going to show you what I did to install this tedious power supply. It was one of the worst things I did on this computer. I should not have bought an all-in-one cooler for this motherboard uh, and this case because there was not enough space and it was extremely difficult. So obviously the first thing I did, I installed the radiator right at the back of the case and what I should have done is I should have installed the fan on the radiator before I mount the actual radiator because it was just too difficult and there was not enough space with all the wires and, and these cables are, are massive they're really chunky um, even though the this this is one of the best or one of the I would just I don't know is it one of the best probably there's better ones I mean the Noctua um, uh, fans are a lot better the only problem is is they don't look as cool as this as nice as this but anyway it was quite tedious to install as mentioned and uh, it just it is, it is a cool all-in-one cooler one of the coolest out there I know um, uh, the other brands make cool coolers with all these lights and stuff but this had a screen and everything so why not but anyway I mean this fan is made by Nocto anyway for this uh, uh, Asus uh, all-in-one cooler anyway so you have some Noctua stuff in there which is pretty cool but honestly I would have should have have bought the Noctua just fan because this was very problematic in many ways obviously the connections were quite um, difficult there, there was four different type of connections that will go through later uh, and how they were connected and it was really really difficult but you know it, it was done successfully so all good and and this is just how it looked like I should have just installed the fan on, on the actual uh, um, register before it made it a lot easier now the good thing about this it comes with the thermal paste I'm not sure what brand it is but the issue I had here is that I mounted the actual heatsink wrong I placed the cooling pipes the pipes that came from the heatsink to the radiator facing down what I should have done is put them to the side but I've made them facing down because I wanted the LEDs of the RAM to show up however what I did not take into consideration is that I needed space for the rest of the cables for the actual heatsink itself and there were four different type of connections uh, so I had to get my brother to come in to help me out to hold some of the cables to screw in some of the screws and uh, for me to hold the actual heatsink so it's very constrained in terms of space and uh, what I can do around uh, cable management and sorting everything out so um, you know it is what it is uh, my fault to be honest should have got a different cooler this is the, this is the worst case for cable management <laughs> I mean cable management and ITX you have to choose one of them you know what I mean yeah my brother tried to be funny with that cable management needs a lot of space and these don't have a lot of space anyway with regards to the connection oh my god there was four different connections obviously the first and utmost is the actual power connection so it uses SATA connection and that just goes to your power supply straight away no problem straightforward perfect so I was connected obviously I had to hide that connection on the back then uh, you need to hook up the fans and then depending on the model you have I have the single one but there's a the triple one then obviously they have the connections for the fans and they go on the same actual uh, uh, heat sink itself so then the connection but then the worst thing that I wasn't sure about and I didn't know about is this this is the micro USB connection from the all-in-one uh, cooler or the heat sink going all the way to the you need to have a nine pin spare USB 2 connection on your motherboard which I didn't know and luckily I did have that because this is a, remember this is a mini ITX so I wasn't sure what connection it has but anyway that had it so I was lucky I had to connect that and then you also need to connect the all-in-one cooler the four pin connection either to the all-in-one cooler pin on your motherboard or a CPU fan uh, four pin connection luckily again this motherboard had the uh, four pin uh, all-in-one pump cooler however if it doesn't then you could just connect to your fan connection port of the motherboard so it was all all alright and then you could see from uh, this diagram that number six was the USB 2 connection to the actual heatsink and number seven was the uh, uh, the either all-in-one or the fan connection of the motherboard 
and the micro USB connection from the heatsink to the motherboard is only there to give you the ability to control what you view on the screen itself uh, on the heatsink. I'm really frustrated with this build to be honest. Uh, so, so this is the build so far. Um, obviously, I had to reopen this, clean up the thermal paste, and apply a new one uh, because when I originally um, installed this, I put I put this. Come ah! I put this um, facing down, these pipes, so they should have been on the side. And the reason I put them down is because I wanted for the RAM to show up, so it wouldn't be too much obstruction on the RAM. But the problem is, this is like proper pushing against the RAM, and there was a gap here between the two, but now they're touching. So I'm not sure how that's going to um, work out. And this USB as well, this USB cable was coming from this side into the connection. Now I had to bring it here. Now I have to hide that somehow as well. I have to try that out. And the cable management, ugh. If I show you behind this, let me just show you what it looks behind. Let me just switch it off. It's quite hot. I've got, I've got air blowing this way. So behind here, that's the cable management. I don't, I don't even know what I'm going to do with this stuff. It's just so much. It's just stuff that I need to find a way to hide it. That's my next task. It's going to take ages. And um, finally, up here, I managed to put some of the cables. Let's move that back a bit. Right there. Managed to put some of the cables up there as well. But yeah, I'll try to get this cable management sorted out and then um, hopefully we'll see how it goes. Yeah.